Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video talking about a an important thing that you're gonna have to do if you want to heal from depersonalization. And that thing is to figure out your family history. Um, it's important to know where you come from. And something that I've I've known but haven't really gone gotten into with my family is our history of alcoholism and abuse and that's something that's really important for you to understand because if you're in the spot right now where you're dealing with depersonalization it's it's rooted in your family upbringing and it's rooted in your experiences that your parents had and it's rooted in the experiences that your grandparents had and all of this all these experiences with trauma and abuse and alcoholism and drugs all that gets passed down and until until someone decides that they're gonna stop all this it's just gonna keep going and so I think it's really important for you to realize that if you're watching this video you are you are that point in the road where you're gonna say you know let's let's stop going this way let's stop let's turn around let's fix things and it's so it's so important to know where you come from it's so important to know who in your family has dealt with abuse alcoholism drugs and to understand that when these things are happening everybody has to play a role and everybody's trying to survive and it's in these survival roles that we adapt these behaviors and models of looking at the world and dealing with our emotions and we have to realize that we've come from dysfunctional families we've come from this line of abuse we've come from this place of dysfunction and we can resolve it. A lot of the problem is unresolved trauma. And that leads to our parents not being able to properly attune with us as kids. And that leads to us not knowing what the heck to do with our emotions. And a lot of the reason why you feel the way you do, why you feel so disconnected from your body, is because your emotions, you've pushed them away. And so what you have to do is bring them back in. And not only do you have to bring them back in, but you have to feel them and label them and put them in a timeline. And say, you know, I really felt sad at this time. This is why I felt sad. It was really hard. And then you learn from it. And you accept it and you feel it. And so I just wanted to make this video. Um, the timer's running out already. This I don't have that much space on my phone. But really, really get to know your family go through scrapbooks, ask your parents. Hopefully they're willing to talk to you about it. It may take a couple of turns at it trying to get some information out of them. Just be respectful and loving and you will get the information you need. You will be affirmed in knowing that <laughs> there's true cause to why you're feeling the way you are. So I hope this helps. Always remember to get out there. Um, Go into the unknown, go into the rain, even if it's super uncomfortable and, and wet and cold. But just keep getting into your body, exercise, eat good, be kind to animals. That's not, it's not really related, but it is. All right, peace, love you guys.